hello beauties welcome back to my channel it's your girl yanni and today we're gonna do a get ready with me um we're gonna be trying out a bunch of new makeup from my summer makeup haul and yeah if you want to see how i feel about this um first impressions with new makeup then go ahead and grab a snack grab a bottle of water because you know we're still trying to get healthy up at this joint and keep on watching okay so i have a new top on this is from shein um i bought this a while ago um it's in the size 2x it is a little big on here i don't like these like sliding down um so a 1x would have been great it is a crop top you can see my little fat rolls but um i'm trying to be more comfortable in my skin right now i know what am i who am i but i have to break out of my shell you know some sometime um but yeah i already have my brows on i didn't clean up my brows i used if you guys want to know my brows are the longest thing or they take the longest so i never do them on camera but i use the ColourPop clear feather effect styling wax and this is the brush that it comes with and then i used the ColourPop um precision brow pencil this is in the color black brown it is dark but my roots are very dark right now i haven't gone to get my hair done and then i used of course the wet and wild ultimate brow kit and this is in dark brown um they have an ash brown one which i could have used when i had my hair blonde but um i'm okay for right now it's not a big deal for me so that's what i currently have on my brows um i am going to clean them up i'm going to use the elf flawless brightening concealer i know this is a little bit thinner than concealers people use to carve out their brows but i really like the effect that this gives this is in the color light 26 n and i really like this formula and it's a brush so i can kind of just use this instead of using an, ad an additional brush this is what i do so i'm gonna go off camera clean them up and i'll be right back all right my brows are nice and cleaned up they look much better much more like in your face so let's start this out the first thing that we're going to start out with is our eyes and i got these cute little quads from ColourPop. i think i'm going to go with this pink and yellow one i haven't done eyeshadow in i don't even know how long because honestly um it's just been it's been so long <laughs> I can't even I can't even think how long it is um, we're going to start out with an eyeshadow primer I'm gonna use the Elizabeth Mott thank me later eyeshadow primer because I don't have a new eyeshadow primer and you guys know that I love ColourPop eyeshadows um, I'm obsessed with ColourPop um, I haven't bought as much because I'm trying not to buy a lot of makeup. I have so much makeup and I hardly use it at this point. Um, I need to get back into it. So I, I'm gonna try. So we're gonna use, this is the Sunday Funday um, Pressed Powder Palette. This is from like the little sweets, sugar, ice cream line or whatever maybe. I'm back and I did both of my eyes and I'm obsessed I think this looks super pretty very end of summer type of vibes which I'm going for because we are already getting ready to go into fall and I love fall because spooky season is coming but let's finish this off so now we are going to do a liner I don't have a new liquid liner because I just don't okay this is as good as I can get it I cleaned it up with a makeup wipe but they're not even even I'm gonna have to fix it later. But this is what we're rolling with right now. This is a little baby wing, I call it, because usually my wings are like all the way out to here, but nonetheless. We're gonna go in with the Big Mood Mega Volume Lifting Mascara from e.l.f. This is a new product, so I can't wait to try this. Let's with this mascara. The wand reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and the ColourPop one. I think the ColourPop one, the bristles aren't as like spaced out, but let's see. I like this formula. I 
it's a little drier. It definitely lifts my lashes. Okay. I wish it was a little bit smaller in the wand, but I like the formula a lot. It's a little bit drier, it's not as wet. Um, on the other side, I'm gonna curl my lashes so you can kind of see. So this is just my wet and wild curler. I never know if I'm putting on mascara the right way. Like I wish I had like the prettiest lashes. Oh, definitely curl your lash. Like, can you see that? It's pretty. Put on a second coat. Cause we are gonna throw on some lashes. Some new ones that I got. Let's go ahead and do all that dries. I'm gonna show you the lashes. So it looks really funky, these lashes. I got them off of AliExpress. AliExpress is like the distributor for Amazon. I've bought some, um, what do you call it? I have bought some lashes on Amazon that I really like. I bought lashes on Shein. But these particular lashes, Makeup by Annalisa on TikTok, she recommended them. Um, and I think they were like a dollar or two dollars. And they come like this. And they're beautiful. There's two different styles, I believe. I want to say, maybe not. Um, this is just the HBZ GT LAD. I think you can get them on Amazon too, but I wanted to get them off of AliExpress because they were much cheaper, but I waited almost a month for these, a month. Like one month, like that was a lot. So yeah, um, I believe they're foaming. I wanna say that they are. Um, yeah. And yes, they're two different styles, I believe. So like you can see these are like a little bit more spiky in between and then these are like a little bit more wispy on the outside. So I think I want to use, I always use like the wispy ones. Let's try these. We're gonna try a set of these on um, because you know, why not? Why not? They're a little bit thicker and I have a wing liner so you won't see the band as much. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop those on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put the lashes on. I switched the lashes. I didn't wear the, the spiky ones because they were a little bit too dramatic. These are actually very dramatic too, but these are a little bit more wispy. And I put this one a little farther out so that's why it looks a little wonky. Then this one, this one laid beautifully. This one unfortunately didn't but we're gonna run with it. I have two different set, um, eye shapes, so I try to make it as even as possible. <sighs> Nonetheless, let's move on. So I am going to start with my face. So I'm trying out this new primer. This is the SPF BFF Light, um, Primer um, from Milani. I'm only trying this because Juicy Jazz raved so much about it. Um, I don't really go outside um into the sun or anything like that i do have a spf i use a tula spf and then i also have another spf use it this much um and um you know I, I really just don't go outside but i do protect my skin um it's very hydrating doesn't really have a scent so that's good um, but yeah, so I wanted to try it out because she's been just like raving about it. And when you hear a person rave about something for so long, you're just like, you know what? I need to try this out. 
So, I have such bad posture. Um, so, that's what I'm doing, trying this out. I mean, it's nice, it glides onto the skin. It has an SPF of 30 in it. So, it's lightweight, natural finish. It has enhanced with vitamin E and glycerin, smooth skin. It extends makeup wear, supposedly, and it's good for all skin tones, so. Okay. I gonna let that sink in a little bit I'm gonna put on my other primer because I do have some pores like right here in the t-zone this is the elf poreless buddy primer you guys know it's the primer that I always use so I always put just a little bit right here in my t-zone and if you guys haven't noticed uh -huh, I cut my nails um, because I had um, they were just bothering me so very much during my whole bout of COVID. Like, everything bothered me. Like, everything. From my hair to my nails to my body, my eyes, my head. It was just everything bothered me. And um, I knew I wasn't going to be able to go get my nails done for a while. So I was like, you know what? Let's just give my, my nails a breather. It had been quite a few months. So I was like, you know what, it's time. Plus, the girl that does my nails is out on maternity leave. Not that I don't trust another girl that's there, but you know, like when you're so used to your nail girl, I said, you know what, that's a sign that I need to give my nails a little bit of a break. So I painted them with some KL polish. This is Havana Nights, but I think I'm going to actually change the polish today um, because I'm kind of feeling something else. So we'll see, we'll see, but yeah. So that's where we're at. Okay. Tackiness is nice. I can't say anything until like until I actually try this makeup out for a while. So now we're gonna go in. I don't have a new concealer and I don't have a new foundation, so I'm just gonna do that off camera and then I'll tell you what I used. So before I have the foundation on the back of my hand, I'm using the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I forgot that I wanted to use this new e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I want to try to do it under versus on top of my foundation. This is in the color Honey Drip, which is, I have tan lines, I believe it is, the other one. And I tried that one out and I really like it, but I'm using just a regular brush. And we're just going to, this one's much darker. So that should be enough because it is a little bit darker than what I expected. Not that I shouldn't say that I expected, but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna go in with my sponge. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge, but I really like the way that this is like a bouncy sponge. So I'm just gonna kind of blend that in. Very nice. Now we're going to go ahead and go in with our foundation. Okay, foundation and concealer on. We're going to try a new powder out. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Powder. And this is a pressed powder and this is in the color Light Medium. I've heard so many good things. This is like on TikTok, Instagram, even some YouTubers have said they really like this powder. So looks like this. I'm gonna try it out. So I am going to use a big fluffy brush. Actually, I'm gonna use some of this under my eyes. This is the Alamar Cosmetics Brightening Brush. So I'm just going to take my sponge and just dab, dab, dab. Cause mama got some little bags under her eyes and quite a few lines. So I'm gonna take some of this and 
just do a really light and go right on the eye. Now with this fluffy brush, I'm gonna go ahead and go in, tap off the excess, and then just kind of like I hate that I have like lines under my eyes because like my concealers they tend to sink in. So if you know how to get rid of that, sometimes I do it really good, sometimes I don't. Today's not the best, but we're going to be putting some color under there anyway. All right, home stretch, people. We're going to try out a new blush. Being that we got pink on our eyes, we're going to go with this blush. This is the Essence Mosaic blush. This is in the Berry Connection. This is supposed to be the dupe for the um, Kylie the Dior um, blush that... Kylie uses so not that I follow Kylie stuff but this is such a you know inexpensive blush Ooh. it's $3.99 I think it was or $4.99 oh, that's pretty it's very pretty I've been very into blush lately I love a cream blush but I don't have a new cream blush to try out so we're gonna go with this this is super pretty and I take it up like that into like my contour and my son had told me that he has been trying out it's very pretty um, a different style of way to do his contour and blush he blushes first and then contours into it which if it works for him I said like, go ahead and go for it all right I really like that blush is very pretty now we're gonna go ahead and go into our lips so I'm going to just use my Duracell Lip Liner from Alamad Cosmetics. I haven't used that one in a very long time. Okay. We're going to use this Milani Fruit, uh, fruit Feather. Look at me. Um lipstick in the color 420 tees it looks like this and this is very cool toned it's a very cool toned nude color we're gonna put a gloss over it I might take it off because it doesn't go with my eyes and then with that gloss this is the Sugar Snap Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain. Hmm. This lip stain is much warmer. It actually goes a lot better with my eyes. This is very pretty. This is the final look. Let's go ahead and set our face. So I'm going to be trying out the Charlotte Tilbury Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Um, I've heard a billion and one people rave about this, so I said I'm going to try it. So here we go. This is supposed to like make your makeup stay on all day. That's ooh. Ooh. It's perfumed. It has a really pleasant smell. Oh, I like this mist though. Okay. Soaked my face. If I feel like it's worth it, I will buy the full size. Because right now this is mini and I think I pay like $20 or $25 for it. So let's go ahead and fan it out. Okay, so decided to go with a different lip combo so i forgot that i bought this for my part one of my um summer makeup haul this is the charlotte tilbury lip pillow talk lip kit so this is the award-winning lip duos charlotte's best selling 
So, of course, I bought the minis because Charlotte is extremely expensive. So, got this. And this one pulls a lot more pinky nude. So, I figured it'll go a little bit better. Um, packaging is very, like, luxurious. So, let's go ahead and try... Oh, my face looks is dry. It looks very pretty. I'm curious to see how long it will last, but let's see. All right, so I'm gonna go in and line our lips. Ooh. Okay. Supposedly this color looks good on everybody. We shall see. The lip liner just glides so okay lips are lined i fill them in just a little bit now we're gonna go in with this lipstick looks like that Does it come to a formula? It's pretty. I think this one definitely goes more with the eyes. It's pretty. I would just leave it like this because obviously um, we wear masks and it's pretty just like this. But I can also throw on a gloss, um, which is my clear gloss it's just a clear gloss from essence i know i'm gonna ruin my lipstick that's like 20 something dollars with like a three dollar gloss this gloss is supposed to be super good like i said juicy jazz made me buy it oh yes hmm it smells like strawberries I always clean my wands because I don't like, if it's a clear gloss, it's meant to be clear. So I wipe my wand. Mm, that is juicy and pretty. I like this. There you go. And this is the final look. Let's All right, and that completes this video. How are you liking it? Do you like it? Do you love it? I think I am obsessed with it. I haven't put on makeup full like eyes and stuff like that in such a long time so it feels good to be back put some makeup on and do this this is a super long video and that's it that completes this video that is my review on all this I hope you guys enjoyed I hope that um, you saw some products that you might want to try out I will be doing more makeup tutorials and more makeup videos in the future so yes it feels good i know this is a super long video so i'm gonna cut it off here thank you so much for watching i appreciate all the love and the support please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell down below so you can get notified every time i upload videos which is three days a week tuesdays thursdays and saturdays you know if life permits and yes i appreciate you guys hanging with me i appreciate you guys um watching my videos and i will see all you beauties in my next video